You want to recover your Google Authenticator codes even without your old phone or backup keys. You have landed in the right video. What I will show you in this video, I know it works because I have done it myself. You know that on our channel I usually help you to make money online every single day as you have seen in my previous videos. But today I wanted to show you something different. If you are watching this video, the chances are that you are using Google Authenticator and you have lost your code. Well, it's a good place to be here because you will learn how to do it. The chances are that you need it, for example, for some cryptocurrency platforms such as Bybit, Binance, KuCoin or any other one. And you know that I share this free Bitcoin guide where I give up to $7,600 worth of bonuses with more than 20 apps to make money as a free gift for our subscribers. And I I always recommend that when you start using the platforms use Google Authenticator because it gives you additional layer of security right and it makes everything safer because instead of securing your accounts just with one password it's better to get also Google Authenticator so you have two layers of security of course there are even more like anti-phishing code and other things you can add to make yourself even more secure but Google Authenticator it's one of those basic things so every time when you sign up, for example, to buy a bit or Binance and you start earning money on these platforms, we recommend that you make that Google Authenticator because when you sign up, you need to put these six codes and then any hackers cannot get your account, right? But what if you have lost these codes, right? What if you have lost your phone or you have deleted this app accidentally? What can you do to get your code to access again all the places where you need it? For example, to KuCoin, Gated.io, OKX, buy a bit, Binance, whatever websites or platforms you are using well I have a couple of different solutions for you let's start with the easiest one the easiest thing is if you already have the backup key of course if you don't have it don't worry I will show you in a moment how you can do it even if you wouldn't have your phone I will show all of these things but this is the easiest and this is also something for you to keep in mind next time when you sign up to some of the platforms to start making money write down the backup key let me show you for example on Binance they show you the backup key because then when you lose your phone or you lose your Google Authenticator, you can recreate it again, right? You have written down this backup key, you put it again and you have a new code, right? Then you can immediately access it again. When you write down your backup key, I recommend that you don't store it on the cloud, on your computer, on your phone. That's not the most secure. That is better than nothing, of course, but that's not the best way. The best way is to write it down on a piece of paper or in a metal. <laughs> metal would be the safest because metal cannot even burn unlike paper can get wet or it can burn. But paper is fine, you know, you can write it on a piece of paper, put it in a safe place so nobody can get it for you. So then you have a backup key in case you lose your phone. Maybe you can do this next time if you have now lost your phone. Next time when you start signing up, you start needing Google Authenticators, write down the backup key. Put it in a safe place so next time you don't need to start searching for this right the second way is also really easy and that is if you still have the old phone right you can transfer the google authenticator to a new phone really easily you go to the app and you click the three dots and then you click here export accounts or alternatively when you transfer all the old data from your old phone to a new phone Oftentimes it also transfers this Google Authenticator data so it will be easily accessible for you also on your new phone. So these are the easiest ways if you have your old phone still or if you have your Google Authenticator backup key. And of course you can also have a backup phone so you can buy an extra phone for example a cheap phone you download Google Authenticator app it there you put it wherever it's a safe place for you and then you have that as a backup you know then when your main phone goes away when you lose that then you can take that backup phone right and then from that phone you can export them into your new phone. So those are a couple of different ways how you can securely back up your Google Authenticator. So let's say you don't have your old phone let's say that you don't have a backup key now you are like how to recover all of those keys it's really simple you go to google.com and you type there google authenticator and then you type the websites where you have used your google authenticator for example you type google authenticator and buy a bit let's say you have used it here and you can see instructions immediately here losing your buy bit accounts google authenticator and you can see here how to bind buy bit authenticator and then on the bottom they have even more instructions let me just show you you click right here and of course they have instructions for this because it's really common many people lose there you can see common reasons for losing access to one google authenticator losing your smartphone or smartphone mal 
function in for example if it drops into the lake or sea or something else happens you know so here they explain step by step how to recover it with them they saw the process right here for example when you need to sign up there is this uh, button you click google authenticator unavailable and then you can start the process of disabling it you understand that it may take some time as they explain here for accounts with the greater amount of assets they don't specify here how much is it 10,000 100,000 or 1 million but accounts with the greater amount of assets further verification is needed please enter your account registered email address or contactable email address and our customer support will contact you via email within 24 hours for further assistance so you know that Bybit for example is famous for having a great customer support and since we are mentioning customer support here that comes into play with most websites you will need to be in touch with the support so at this point you probably hope that you are using websites that have a great support such as Bybit for example that is known for having the best support in the cryptocurrency industry but even if a company wouldn't have so great a reputation for their support for example Bybit Binance has a great reputation as a platform. You can earn money even while you are sleeping and many of you are probably earning money here already. But their customer support doesn't have a reputation to be fastest. But still, you will be able to recover your Google Authenticator. Sometimes you will just need some patience. If you scroll down here and you read instructions here, you see here I lost access and here they explain how to reset Google Authenticator and they explain the steps and they also explain that it will take several days you will need to answer a couple of questions regarding your account often they ask things like when did you deposit money what kind of trades did you do what currencies did you trade or this kind of questions to verify that you are really you or when were you born and this kind of questions that make sure that somebody else cannot hack it right because they want to be sure that you are really you and not somebody else can hack your google authenticator that's why they will need to ask those questions and it may take up to seven days so you need to have some patience but i'm 100 sure you can do it if you are really you and you are not trying to hack somebody else's account right and the same works with KuCoin you type on Google Google Authenticator reset KuCoin or something like that and here you see how to restore and unbind Google two-factor authentication they explain the process here and again you will need to be in touch with the customer support you will need to send a selfie with your passport and then also verification code you can see security verification and then their customer support will contact you you. they may ask you again some verification questions to prove your identity and to make sure that nobody else is trying to hack your account and that's how you can move forward the same also with get.io how to enable and disable authenticator in the same way you can find it you go to google you type the google authenticator get.io and you find it here how to enable and disable so you do this for all of the websites and apps that you have been using for example if you have been using okx then you find it right here Google Authenticator not working or lost so you can see it here what to do if you have lost access to your Google Authenticator app or it has stopped working you can reset your Google Authenticator following the steps below so first of all of course they probably explain the backup kits and all of these things but then the last option is being in touch with the customer support you can see here if the above solutions can't solve the issue for you please send your request and KYC document passport or driving license this kind of things to support with your registration email after confirming your information their customer support can help you to remove the old phone and then bind to a new one and on OKX specifically they say that this procedure may require you to do a video verification or account may be frozen this is of course to keep your funds safe because somebody else might be trying to hack your funds so they want to be sure that you are really you. So as you have already seen when we have been reading these instructions each company each website has a little bit different instructions and you need to go through their instructions specifically one by one for example you go to buy bit first from Google you find it the fastest you go to their support pages follow the steps once you have done it for them then you go for Binance you send the messages to their support then you go through KuCoin one by one you know you reset all of them and I want to remind you that be patient this may take a few days it may take even a week to get all of them reset but you will get it done I want to encourage you you will get it done if you follow their instructions I understand it may feel a little bit frustrating because you want to get access fast but don't worry just be patient but let's go back to the happier subjects if you want to make money online safely 
make sure to subscribe to our channel learn to make honest money online and write down your backup keys next time when you use google authenticator and if you want to get up to seven thousand six hundred dollars worth of bonuses and you want to see 20 safe apps to make money starting right now for free get my ultimate bitcoin guide i will leave your link in the description for example in this video i showed you nine apps to earn bitcoin for free and here in the first link you can see how you will get more than seven thousand six hundred dollars worth of bitcoin bonuses this is a free gift for you as my youtube viewer you and me my friend we are going to see inside the ultimate bitcoin guide and in our next video on learn to make honest money online have a wonderful day and get your google authenticator recovered